My wife and I have a lot of decorations for Halloween and stuff. I printed a bunch of Halloween ones there, but we, we have a lot that we've purchased too. I wanted to 3D print some Halloween stuff. And so while we're talking about Thanksgiving, I'd like to give thanks to today's sponsor, PCBWay. Here we are in PCBWay's site. You've got, you know, your instant quote, CNC 3D printing, PCB assembly. They have product capabilities here listed that show you all the different kinds of PCBs and things they can do. They've got projects here that are shared, so you can go in and find things that you might want to do. But the thing that really is cool to me is they do 3D printing. When I need something printed in metal, I come here. I upload my STL or similar file. I put up what the quantity I want, design units, material, all this stuff. And you just send off the quote when it's done. Someone checks it. And once they've decided that it's going to be viable, they send you the price. Thanks PCBWay for sponsoring this video. I really, really do appreciate it. You guys rock. So here we go. We also have lots of Christmas decorations in every other season, but Thanksgiving is kind of the one that we're uh, missing out on. I printed two things for Thanksgiving. We're going to take a look at them and kind of put them together right now. Um, so you get the little Thanksgiving deal here and you got your happy and we're just going to kind of put this happy together. Let's see what we like. I think I'm going to go with the smooth sides out. So let's get those all sorted there. Now they picked the P for us on this file. I'll have the link to the file in the description. I just took it off of Bamboo's site. And then this must be this P. Okay, and where's our Y? Oh, no, I guess we're not doing the shiny side down. We're doing the textured side up because the P forces us to. And we're going to keep it nice and uniform. So if I was going to print this again, I might uh, flip everything around so I could have smooth side up. Yep, there we go. Okay, so... I'm gonna pop these in here, but I'm also gonna put a little bit of um, gloop on here for PLA. Just seeing how this works here. So they do stick out a little bit. Let me just make sure I can't do them the other way. Yeah, okay, they're only gonna go in that way. Guys, I'm so prepared for this video. It's like I've not even tried to do this yet. So we do that, and then I think we just take the Thanksgiving and we're gonna put that on top of there. Make sure each one fits before I put a slathering glue upon them. Let me get this out of frame for a second. Okay, I figured it out. The H wasn't uniform in shape, and I had it upside down. I had it like that, and it goes like that. So if you run into that problem with this file, now you know why. So let me take a look at this again. So I think I know what I'm gonna do here. We're gonna get the glue, and we're gonna drain a bunch off. There we go. I'm just going to try to come in here and see if you can see that there. I'm just going to do that and that and that. And you want to put the glue on the piece too. So we're very gingerly you're going to come in here, just get a little on the edges here because not much of this actually goes down into the thing. Re up a little here. And then I'm not going to do it on all the sides. We'll just do it on the two biggest surfaces. We're going to take that and try not to get it on our hands. We're just going to set that in there. And we're going to move on to the next one. You guys give me tips for gluing stuff like this? Like I feel like uh, there's got to be something better. I like this glue, but the brush is just way too big. What uh, you got any recommendations for brushes or or something that's going to be a little bit smaller? Like I'm going to struggle to get this in here now without getting it all over everything. That's very unfortunate because I don't want it to, you know, be visible, and I don't want to have to come in here and sand it and. But since it's just for our house, no big deal. Okay, get it on the edges here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and skip ahead and I'm gonna do the rest of these. And we're back just to finish the Y.
Probably got a little excess in there. But I'm tired of huffing this stuff and we have another model to glue yet, so yeah. Let's, uh, oh, I messed that one up. I put that too high. And we'll get that in there. And we'll just get that in there. And I totally just painted the wrong side, didn't I? Yeah. Good job, Ryan. Good, good job. Guys, can you tell I'm not really a crafty person? Uh, I'm not terribly good at this. I think the last art class I had was like fifth grade or something. I'll try to clean this up a little. I'm just gonna have to come in here with a little bit of sandpaper, I think. Not too big of a deal, I guess. And then I think we just decided where we want that to go. Okay, I went and looked at the file and we basically want this flush like that. This is how they had it in the thing. So we do our best here to line it up and put just a little bitty bit of glue on the back of this. Where are my best contact points here? The G, the K, the T, and part of the H. Gosh, it's gonna be so hard to get this level. Yeah, so the T, the stick of the H, the G, and the K. And here's where we get glue all over my mat, which I don't want to do. So we're going to hold this up in the air out of frame real quick. We said the T and the H, the K, the top of the 1G. So we get that real good. And then the other G, get a little more glue. Try to not get this all over myself. Get pretty much one shot at this, I think. So I've already messed this up. There we go, happy Thanksgiving. We're just gonna push this down a little and we'll move this out of the way to dry. I'm gonna move on to the next thing. So what do you think we're making there? What if I told you this is gonna be a turkey? So let me take a look at my parts here. Make sure we glue this all right. Okay. And our feet. He gets a hat, he gets a beak, all that stuff. He's got a little insert there cut out for his waddle. Let's see what that looks like. Make sure we do that right. And then the eyes. I printed the eyes twice and I'm just not really happy with how they came out. So yeah, we'll see guys, we'll see. He kind of looks like a Torin. He looks more like a Torin hat from Caprica. Then it does a, uh, get rid of this glue logo or focusing on that text, I think. Then it does a, a pilgrim's hat. Let's see if that's dried yet. Get the gloop out of the way. I don't know, what do you guys print for Thanksgiving? If you are in the US or Canada or a country that has Thanksgiving. I know it's a pretty big thing here in the US for us, for you international audience. We get together, we eat ridiculous amounts of food, we make ourselves feel sick, we watch a parade, and then maybe some college football. Uh, for me, it's when I start listening to Christmas music and watching Christmas movies. I wait till Thanksgiving like a sane person, although I know some people that have Christmas decorations up the day after Halloween ends. But there we go. Happy Thanksgiving. Now that the glue's dried, it actually doesn't look too bad. Um, I did get this a little lower than I would have liked, so it's a little wonky, but, you know, who cares, right? I'm, I'm not a crafting expert, and this is only the second time I've used Gloop. The first time was the video I shot immediately before this one. So, happy Thanksgiving. Let me know if there's any cool models that you do, and I'll see you in the next video.